What goes around comes around. We've all heard that saying, but what exactly does it mean? A way to look at it is by peering down at the dirt. One thing you don't see is what's in that soil, what's been taken out, and what's been put back in. An important question is, how can farmers swap what's in the soil of their crops? Feeding a nation and the world is a monumental task, not just for farmers, but for Mother Earth as well. Her rich soil needs to rest and rejuvenate, just like we do. And the natural way to accomplish this is a process called regenerative agriculture. Regenerative agriculture has many definitions or many aspects. Central to it is soil health. Farmers and livestock and soils have a mutually dependent relationship. They have for centuries. I met up with the Henry Ford's Curator of Agriculture and the Environment, Deborah Reed, in the museum's Greenfield Village to get the scoop on the you-know-what for this story. Regenerative agriculture, it's sort of a polite academic term for animal doo-doo. Farmers applying that animal doo-doo back onto their fields to return nutrients to the soil so that plants will grow. This is where we get euphemisms like cow pie, which viewers should understand is not something you eat. It's not a dessert. What's in it? What is in that that's so special for it, crops? Well, nutrients, so especially what they call NPK, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, plus whatever grass or hay the livestock consume helps the soil retain moisture. This happens to be the natural diet of these animals. It's not yes. like they're being fed materials that make for good fertilizer. The animals like what they're eating. Yes, but in a stable, cow pie on top of cow pie builds up, and so farmers need to move that material out and let it compost in a pile. And then when it has composted a month, two months, then you can put it onto your field. After World War I, synthetic nitrogen became readily available, reducing the need for livestock waste on a farm. Post-World War II, even more commercial fertilizers began to erode the symbiotic relationship between man, animals, and the land. Regenerative agriculture is an attempt to restore natural animal fertilizer on a larger scale. So what are the ingredients in here? Well, there's sheep waste, and then there's the bedding, so hay that they don't consume, and the combination is what's here in front of us. So it's kind of like a shepherd's pie. Ah, yes. And the soil is gonna be so happy when it eats this, yes? yes? Of course, one has to move the compost from the pile to a wagon. That was perfect aim, Mo. Yeah, thank you. Then to a machine that will spread the vital nutrients across the land. Yes, a good old-fashioned manure ready? spreader. All right, you ready? I am ready. John Wilbur, get up, boys. Get up. Start spreading. Start spreading the news. 